Clinical research is so important to what we do about patient care. I mean, people can go to a million different places and, and get care. But to come to the Keck School of Medicine to get their care at Keck Medicine, where we have the most cutting edge research going on, knowing that you're gonna get the best and the brightest, to have faculty who are thinking in those ways, that means that people are gonna be getting the very best care that they could possibly get, the really leading edge of clinical care. The Keck School of Medicine of the University of Southern California has a long history of being a top-ranked research institution in the Southern California area and globally. Our investigators, spanning eight basic science departments, 18 clinical departments, 10 divisions within the Department of Medicine, and eight institutes, represent a vibrant scientific community. Our faculty are leaders in their fields and engage in cutting-edge research that spans the full continuum, ranging from basic science to translational research to clinical and community-based research. Our ever-growing research portfolio allows us to make groundbreaking discoveries while also maintaining the highest standard of patient care. You know, I view clinical research as really the heart and soul of our entire medical school here. It's great to have the basic science research, and then we have research that all, goes all the way to translational and policy. And our clinical research is right smack in the middle, really helps us directly impact the lives of our patients and their families. The Southern California Clinical and Translational Science Institute, or SCCTSI, provides a wide range of services for investigators involved in clinical studies. In this video, we will hear from people who work very hard every day to ensure that clinical research at USC is streamlined, efficient, and ethical. Dr. Thomas Buchanan is Vice Dean for Research at the Keck School of Medicine. Dr. Buchanan leads efforts to support basic, translational, and clinical research activities across the medical school. So I've got a couple of roles here. The first one is that I'm the Vice Dean for Research. So I'm fundamentally in charge of overseeing the research programs for the medical school. Some of the things I do are to organize space and the core resources, but I think some of the most important things that I do are help develop the strategies for research. So what things are gonna be most important? What diseases we're gonna work on? What groups are gonna work on them? what recruitments we want to do, and basically how to develop our space and the accommodations for those. So it's really everything that involves research. As the Associate Dean for Basic and Translational Sciences, my office is responsible for connecting people to resources. So we do this in a number of ways. We facilitate with the faculty a rigorous peer review process that allows us to guide the investment of pilot grant funds to investigators who are launching new research projects. I also work to mentor junior faculty and postdoctoral fellows who are launching their research careers, trying to identify resources that are critical for their success. And we work in the office on building infrastructure that's essential for sustaining a major research operation. Keck is home to the Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, a national leader in cancer research, and is designated by the National Cancer Institute as one of the nation's 45 comprehensive cancer centers. Dr. Anthony Alquery is the director of the Norris Cancer Center Clinical Investigations Support Office, or CISO. And now CISO has a whole spectrum of services. It starts from the inception of the protocol. So when investigators are developing a concept, we have something called design and feasibility service, where we meet with the investigators to help them develop and mature their concept. Then we support them to some extent during the protocol development period. We then have a regulatory service. These are the folks that would support the investigator in navigating the protocol through the various review processes. We have disease teams. Uh, the investigator will have a team al allocated to them, which includes coordinators, data managers, etc., who will support them with the execution of the study and collection of data. The, our regulatory team will help maintain the study throughout its life cycle with amendments, uh, updates, and even study closure. So it's really a comprehensive service from A to Z. The Institutional Review Board, or IRB, at the Health Sciences Campus at USC 
reviews and approves all research involving human participants. The IRB in general is, of course, responsible for ensuring appropriate protections of human subjects of research participants at USC. Through those actions, we also protect the university as well as protect researchers. So ensuring that research is conducted in an ethical manner that's consistent with you know, federal guidelines as well as just basic ethical principles that, that we all believe in. Ms. Melissa Archer and her team from the USC Clinical Trials Office, or CTO, handle administrative aspects of industry-funded clinical trials, including coverage analysis, contracting, budget development, and post-award financial management. Clinical trials are a pathway for physicians to be able to provide cutting-edge therapies to patients at Keck. Sometimes whenever the patient comes in and goes through traditional standard of care therapies, they don't get the type of response that both the PI and the, the physician and the patient are looking for. So that's when they can offer alternatives that you can only get through a clinical trial. At Keck, we have 683 active industry-sponsored clinical trials with over 7,000 patients that have gone through those studies. Federal-funded research is the backbone for research funding here at the university. The Keck School of Medicine brings in over $275 million in sponsored projects funding annually and more than $150 million from the National Institutes of Health, which is our largest federal sponsor of research here at the university. USC investigators um, really need extramural funding in order to support interdisciplinary research as well as their innovative ideas, train and support their graduate students, and really make those important discoveries. OPRS is responsible for developing and maintaining the policies and procedures related to human subjects research. We are also responsible for communicating those policies and procedures to the university writ large, as well as ensuring that those researchers who are working with human subjects have access to the resources that they need in order to be fully educated and able to enact those policies and procedures in their work. Ms. Marie Choi is the Associate Director of Research Administration. We work closely with principal investigators and their research administrators to review budgetary components of their extramurally funded grant proposals. We specialize in federally sponsored grant proposals, especially NIH. So I think one of the real strengths of USC is the collaborative environment here. In my role as Vice Dean, I spend a lot of time interviewing people who are coming to look at jobs, some of them in our institutes, some of them in our clinical and basic science departments. And a really consistent piece of feedback I get is that this is a very collaborative place. When you want to go and do a collaboration, whether it's with another department or with another school, it's always, yes, how can we figure this out? I think that is what makes us, to a large extent, a really um, strong both research institution and clinical care institution. Which makes it a really exciting, fun place to be doing clinical research.